2022 Mini John Cooper Works Convertible Review, a tough sell. But before we start, please support us by pressing the like and subscribe buttons, so that we can continue to provide information about car and motorcycle news. Also turn on the bell button to get the latest updates. Your support means a lot to us. Thank you. The Mini reputation is that of charming and fun small cars. That's still the case for 2022, even with a modest update that sees every model gain new exterior styling and a refreshed cabin. This Mini John Cooper Works convertible, in particular, is the range-topping option and remains the most fun of the bunch, with a punchy powertrain and excellent driving dynamics. But many Mini models have quietly gotten more expensive over the year. This model starts at $39,750, with $850 destination fees, which makes it the most expensive vehicle in the class and pricier than better hardtop performers like the Hyundai Veloster N on top of that, Mini's technology is still finicky and this car isn't exactly the definition of comfort. Mini's iconic styling remains a fixture in the lineup for 2022, but with a few updates. The roundel headlights get a googly-eyed look thanks to new black inserts, and the grille also wears a glossy black surround. On all JCW models, a red accent line runs horizontally across the fascia, large black vents, for cooling, sit low on the grille, and unique 18-inch circuit spoke rims adorn the wheel wells, giving the sportiest model properly aggressive shoes. The taillights sport a standard Union Jack motif, which is always fun, and the dual exhaust tips meet in the middle, surrounded by a large, glossy black diffuser. Our test car is a convertible, which means a black cloth roof comes standard. But the coupe offers a number of roof styles and colors, including a very cool tri-tone fade treatment that's brand new for 2022. As with the exterior, the JCW model maintains that iconic mini quirkiness inside. The large rounded ring on the center of the dash is illuminated and you can program the lights for different events, it can even serve as a tachometer. In the center of that ring lives a horizontally oriented 8.8-inch touchscreen. There's a tiny 5.0-inch digital cluster behind the steering wheel, but it looks like a tacked-on aftermarket accessory. And the pop-up head-up display looks a bit cheap, too. Beyond that, most of the buttons, dials, and materials are high quality. The extra-long, piano black shifter for the 8-speed automatic has noticeable heft. The airplane-like switches below the touchscreen feel metallic and deliver a satisfying click, and the leather atop the steering wheel and JCW-specific seats looks and feels great. The JCW-specific sport seats are the highlight of the interior. The side bolsters wrap around the driver perfectly, the shape of the seatback provides hours of support, and the combo of Dinamica, similar to Alcantara, and leather in a quilted pattern creates a high-quality look and feel. And the seats are power-adjustable, which means you should have no trouble finding a perfect position. Beyond that, the inside of the Cooper JCW convertible offers little in the way of relief. The back seats are borderline unusable, with just 30.9 inches of legroom. That's only one inch more than the iconically cramped second row of the Toyota 86 Coupe, 29.9 inches. And the tiny trunk offers a measly 7.6 cubic feet of space with the top up. Barely enough to fit a few bags of groceries, and only 5.7 cubes with the roof stowed.
Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.